right so even if you do one problem every day that sums up to 365 problems in one year and i think i have solved around like 250 problems or not more than 300 for sure hello everyone welcome to chat with champions an initiative by scaler Here we sit and candidly chat to our Scala alumni who tell us all about their learning journeys, experiences, secret tips and tricks that they adopted to back the commendable jobs. Today we have the privilege of sitting with Gaurav Pathi. Welcome Gaurav. Hello everyone. Gaurav is a graduate of NIT Hamirpur and he's currently working with Amazon. Prior to this he was also working with Lean IX which both in itself are commendable feats. So congratulations on that. Why don't you introduce yourself, Kara? So yeah, so basically I'm from Jaipur, Rajasthan, and like uh, yeah, most of my time I've spent here and only in Jaipur, and probably this is what my favorite city is also. So yeah, for I I went to Kota for one year uh, to prepare for IIT and AIEEE and that sort of stuff. Like most of the people have done that, not Kota, then probably on their own or in their city itself. So yeah, I have gone through that pretty much that same procedure. After that, I I scored decent amount of marks, uh, not decent enough to get into an IIT, but yeah, I was pretty satisfied with whatever I was getting at that point of time. So I went to NIT Hamirpur. I spent four years there. I did my uh, bachelor's in technology in computer science and engineering, and I was pretty much like an ordinary student only, an ordinary engineering uh, guy. So like most of my time, I spent. Uh, in computer gaming outdoor sport activities lot of travel since i was in himachal and i didn't know that i was i will get the opportunity again to travel back to himachal so i explored uh, uh, most of the places there uh, in those four years i was part of some rock band as well i was part of some music activities so yeah lot of activities here and there but nothing related to study to be very honest so i used to you know prepare in very last moment Uh, like a one night fight i used to give and you know just clear my exam you are not called engineer if you have not gotten one back <laughs> so i think that makes an engineering uh, complete since we're on that why don't you tell us a very fun memory i'm sure you have a long list of cherishable memories from college why don't you tell us one of them yeah so like since i've already told you that i was part of uh, a rock band so like uh, we were in third year and there was a competition sort of a battle of band competition in nit kurukshetra so we decided okay let's let's take take that up and let's uh, challenge ourselves and let's go and uh, we see how, how we do there so yeah we were preparing we prepared few songs and after that the first uh, first position was was announced and it was luckily us and we were like, like literally shouting uh, on the backstage and we were like those sort of guys who unexpectedly won something so later we had a discussion with the jury member and stuff and they said that the original thing which you did was something which was missing in uh, missing with the other uh, candidates so i think that is something one memory which you know which will stay with me and after that memory like i spent the next one month thinking that forget about engineering forget about computer science forget about coding i will be part of this rock band and we will like do it professionally uh, so gorav you know how there is a huge talk on how that product companies are the places to be because it's a very competitive world and everybody is trying to outsmart the other How was your life when you were working with Lean IX? Were there any struggles? What was the workplace like? My experience was uh, like Lean IX basically is a Germany-based company, and uh, recently, like last year in 2019, in November, they started their office in Hyderabad, and I was the first uh, uh, member of that engineering team. I was the first developer there who actually, you know, uh, onboarded with them and started working on their projects. So yeah, we figure. I figured out lot of stuff there. I figured out like how exactly things are working, and lot of things were you know very ambiguous there. So uh, I spent a good ten months there, and that's when I actually started believing that okay, I can achieve more than what I'm having right now. When you were pondering over making that step from one company to another, from going from Lean IX to Amazon, what was your learning strategy like? How did you begin your journey? So there was only two things which I had to bring into the picture. One was my one was my hard work and one was my like consistency. So yeah, so the point I brought these two things into my preparation, I think uh, things started falling into the pieces automatically. For someone who's planning to give, you know, go on the same voyage as you, any of our viewers, somebody who's younger to you, who's planning to shift from one company to another, and is going to give an interview, 
so you know generally it might be a very normal question that might come up why did you switch from one company to the other what would you say to that one person what do they answer in an interview when they're asked why they made the switch first priority and foremost what people think is like uh, they want some sort of monetary growth so uh, like in my case i was like if someone like when i made my first company to second company switch when before i came in came to linux i was like if someone would give me like 20% hike also then also i go but i think that that is definitely something uh, what you shouldn't think so i think uh, there can be lot of reason why someone should look out for a switch so i think the first and foremost which which was you know sort of relevant in my case was uh, i was not getting that sort of uh, you know sense of belonging in whatever work i was doing right so even though the work was good and everything was good even the pays are pays were decent and everything all those even if the all those factors were there but i really did not didn't think that okay uh, whatever work i am doing is actually you know benefiting the society or is benefiting the company so i was whatever work i was doing was more or less like a copy paste type of work like if someone has done the same sort of work i'll just copy it there and just paste it there and you know just make the things working right and there was there was not uh, you know uh, some ownership of whatever work i was doing right so uh, that's that's what triggered me you know to basically see if if i could actually you know uh, go to some other company and see if i can get that sort of thing and i have read a lot of reviews about these uh, big companies uh, uh, like uh, for example amazon and i i figured out okay amazon is something where i can i, I actually see myself i did had couple of friends already working there so uh, i had a discussion with them and all the all of them said that okay you basically get that sort of ownership whatever work you are doing you will be the responsible for that so i think there is nothing wrong about saying like if i i need some monetary enhancement but that shouldn't be your sole reason for you know uh, sole reason for uh, switching because let's like, say if you are working in some company you are not getting your deserved amount uh, then what you can do is basically you can work harder in that company and you can basically see how you can get promoted to the next step so that is also one one thing which uh, a candidate can look after to but yeah like as i said like just be honest with whatever your reasons are so it shouldn't be like just the monetary thing is the only thing because with money there is some additional responsibilities which uh, which kicks in and what if you do you are not prepared for all those sort of stuff so first prepare yourself just prepare some good reasons around like what exactly you why exactly you want to switch and just present them in front of the interviewer that should work fine you know you're right undoubtedly your peace of mind is imperative when you're working somewhere and uh, to have that kind of ownership what kind of you know fruit you're reaping from the seed you're sowing and all the hard work you're putting in something should come out of it so that is very important as well through your entire journey gorav how would you say that scalar academy has helped, has been helpful to you so basically the entire transformation so like the most of the credit i'll give it to scalar only so i i joined scalar around uh, somewhere in january uh, this year itself 2020 and uh, like before that I I I joined Linux just couple of weeks prior to that and I was pretty happy with the uh, whatever uh, like whatever company I was working with I was pretty happy with the Linux for the first two weeks but when I joined Scalar uh, they made me believe that okay you can achieve a lot more than what you are having right now because there were a lot of success stories around it there were a lot of reviews and uh, on lot of uh, lot of platforms there were a lot of you know talks about like how they are actually you know uh, they are basically helping people to you know gain 2x or 3x amount of whatever they were earning till that point so i think i i i was pretty under confident before i joined scalar and i was pretty happy okay i got 30% hike i am pretty fine with whatever i am getting right now and the work is also fine so all those things were there but i never knew that okay i can the what type of work basically these big product based companies are doing i was very much unaware of about all those things and and once i joined scalar it gave me path i knew that okay there is some company called amazon this is some companies called fan facebook netflix and stuff and everything and they are doing some work like i had i had idea okay this is netflix and i'm using it and i had some idea about it but when i actually you know met people who are actually working for google or for amazon or for netflix and i, I had a discussion with them and yeah it is all because of scalar because there were some time to time sessions which you know scalar took where the people from these companies came and they just you know told uh, us about their work and stuff at that point i figured okay why why exactly people are looking for high level design 
and scalar gave me a path they taught me high level design low level design coding and everything the every aspect of uh, software engineering they covered and they made me a full packed software engineer i won't say that they prepared me only for interviews interviews was def- were definitely one part of you know scalar thing but the bigger benefit is that they made me a good software engineer and i think that's what everyone of us should thrive for how to become better at your own job and i and i actually see like whatever i was studying or whatever i was actually being taught and whatever i was practicing at scalar i could actually started implementing in my current company and i could i could actually you know think from a very broad perspective that how this entire application is designed so a lot of concepts and lot of things they were already there and i knew about them but how they are actually implemented i never knew knew it about them the underline is like if you have a good basics if you have a good uh, uh, what you call nev is then i think probably you can build a better building on top of it and i think scalar definitely helped me in building that nev that's what scalar does honing the skills you have and developing the one you need that's what we go by um since you were mentioning about you know preparing while you were working at lean ix and then getting your job at amazon so what would be your message to someone who's preparing who thinks it's not possible to prepare while working in a job in my case there was a there were workloads uh, it was not like i was completely sitting idle and i did have ample amount of time for preparing so i did have some workload but it might vary right there were few folks there might be few folks who have like uh, it is very difficult for them to even spare like 2 hours out of their uh, out of their time to prepare for the interviews and stuff so what i feel that the journey might be a little longer for those folks and someone uh, and for someone who has like good amount of bandwidth uh, with their current job as well the journey might be little uh, little shorter so if you bring that consistency factor and uh, the other thing is like you should be always motivated enough to you know uh, like even if like while while i was actually working i could i could see those gaps during my entire 8 to 9 hours of the office what like which i was absolutely wasting and doing nothing i was just scrolling through instagram facebook whatsapp and stuff like all those social media and playing some games like pubg and stuff so i could i could see those gaps i have identified those gaps and i have started seeing like okay, okay okay let's do one thing if i have a target of let's say solving two problems then one problem i'll solve in my office hours only and the next problem will solve uh, during the night time right so even if you do one problem every day that sums up to 365 problems in one year and i think i have solved around like 250 problems or not more than 300 for sure if you want to be a competitive coder and if you want to do that sort of stuff then definitely one problem is not enough right so but i think if you do one problem every day and if you are looking for a uh, sd2 or a little senior engineer position then i think that is that is more than enough uh, like to bring that consistent like to to kick in that consistency thing with that uh, we come to my favorite part of the interview it's called rapid responses with scalar here are all the part where you know the answers get really short real frothy and you'll give them really quick so i'd suggest that you fasten your seat belts and get a glass of water because this is going to be fast all right first one how many interviews did you have before cracking amazon 25 25 30 wow all um, of them were not rejects by the way <laughs> there were couple <laughs> of them uh, i i shortlisted as well but yeah like more or less like around 30 i would say what would you prefer work from home or office uh, a little bit of both uh, probably 3 days uh, in office and 2 days in home so i'm sort of not liking like the entire work from home thing but yeah a little bit of both is something which, which works well for me definitely the dream life what do you think is the coolest thing about working at amazon so there are a lot of cool things the first and foremost things is their 14 leadership principle and i think that is something on which amazon is very proud of and that is very peculiar about amazon so i think uh, uh, on paper they might sound like a very uh, hypothetical concept but that is something which is very much practiced here and, and that basically helps you to thrive in your job role since engineering and gaming goes hand in hand what would you choose dota or counter strike counter strike like i have played dota a couple of times but definitely i was beaten up again and again <laughs> so yeah i was good at counter strike and probably and that that is something which i'll choose 
if you had to describe your scalar academy experience in one sentence what would it be uh, it was a life changing moment i never believed that i could reach this far and i think scalar has given me that push and that nudge which i required at that point of time um with that we've come to the end of the interview thank you so much gorav it's been an extremely delightful conversation i'm sure everybody viewing this right now knows that this has been extremely helpful for them and everybody you know all you've answered all those crucial questions when taking that plunge from one company to another we hope this video gives you that much needed information you need so thank you so much for viewing this is manasvi rautela your host see you next time with another champion